The way to understand transgenderism, I made this argument during my speech at Washburn, which if you missed it, 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 it was really wonderful to be at Washburn University. We had a capacity room. They actually added 50 more chairs to the room just to try to squeeze people in. Uh, but there were 200 people who were turned away at the door. It was a really, really great event. The thesis of my speech was that transgenderism needs to be rejected entirely and that it doesn't make any sense on the biological level, on the psychological level, and on the theological level. That transgenderism is actually a religious movement that draws on themes of Gnostic dualism. And I laid out my argument for that. And the libs will tell you, you're crazy, you're insane, it's not a religious movement at all. Transgenderism, it's, it's not religious, it's purely biological. And then they post videos like this. Hi everyone. I just wanted to get on here to say happy visibility day to my trans, queer, and non-binary family. I feel so honored to be able to celebrate this day. My name is Lavender Lou. Um, in my mid-twenties, I am currently you know, posted up in some stolen Multnomah lands. Um, I identify as Two-Spirit and have my relationship with my divine masculine and my divine feminine are very omnipresent every single day. I have very much an embodiment of male and female energy that doesn't sway. To all my other trans family, I want you to know that I see you that I love you, that this universe is undergoing an immense reconstruction right now, but that we've got this. So take that, Christians. Take that, you Bible thumpers. Get your religion out of my scientific transgenderism movement in which I am a two-spirit with my divine masculine and my divine feminine energy because the energy man, the energy's moving in the universe. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius because it, that's science, right? You saw that. Did you see the two spirits under the microscope? Did you, did you see the divine masculine through the telescope? In the No, probably you didn't. It's obviously a religious movement. This is where conservatives go a little wrong too because we'll some, we use this phrase, biological male. I get, we, practically people do it because if we don't bend the knee in any way to transgenderism, the libs can just completely kick us out of the public square, shut down, for all intents and purposes, shut down conservative outlets, kick us off of social media. Tactically, I get why sometimes people use it, but it's dumb. It's, it's not going to work. It concedes the premise of transgenderism, that you can be biologically male, but psychologically female or something like that. And moreover, when we try to argue against transgenderism from the perspective of science, we completely lose the argument because it is not in any way a scientific movement. It's a, it's a movement about the relationship of the soul to the body, about two spirits and divine masculine. And you know what I'm talking about, man? So good. Apply the rigor of theology to it. Theology is faith-seeking understanding. Theology isn't some made-up fantastical nonsense. Quite the opposite, actually. Theology takes made up fantastical nonsense and applies logic and applies rigor to it and says, okay, if we're thinking just as in science, you, there are lots of superstitions in science, and then you apply rigorous examination to discard the superstitions about the physical world and figure out what's really going on. So too, that's what theology does to the metaphysical world. And if you don't, if you're not willing to use that ex express kind of language, then you're going to end up in the gobbledygook of two spirits and divine masculine and, and the energy man. You're going to end up sounding like Joe Biden and nobody wants to do that. Right now, go to thuma.co slash Knowles. Your bedroom deserves a refresh. Your room, your home really matters. A lot of people don't think about it, especially guys. But when you are in a place, either that place is going to slightly elevate your spirits or it's going to slightly lower your spirits, okay? And you're probably not even going to be conscious of it. So help elevate your spirits. Right now, go check out The Bed by Thuma. Handcrafted from eco-friendly, high-quality, upcycled wood, you will find beautiful, unique variations in the natural grain. They have a minimalist design, features Japanese joinery, uh, it will be super supportive for your mattress. It's breathable, made to naturally minimize noise and create space. It's made for how you live. The Bed by Thuma is backed with a lifetime warranty, ships right to your door in three easy to maneuver boxes, takes about five-ish minutes to assemble with no tools required. You can do it all by yourself. Along with the bed, Thuma offers all sorts of other bedroom essentials. The nightstand, the side table, the tray are perfect complements. Create that feeling of checking into your favorite boutique hotel suite, but at home with the bed by Thuma. Go to thuma.co, C-O, slash Knowles, and use code Knowles to receive a $25 credit toward your purchase 
of the bed plus free shipping in the continental U.S. That's T-H-U-M-A dot C-O slash Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S. Enter Knowles at checkout for $25 credit. Thuma.co slash Knowles, enter code Knowles. I'm glad you liked that clip. Now subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications, head on over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Stitcher or wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. Leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.